Hey guys, Joe Cancellari here at the A-Shock Performance Center, joined with Mr. Billy Kemper. And today we're gonna to give you a little bit of an insight of what Billy does in a gym setting, a couple of things that are good for surfing, functional fitness, and functional strength training as well. All right guys, so we're, we're gonna start the workout. The first movement I have Billy doing is you're in a hip hinge position where you row the barbell up and as you row, you're rotating, so end pressing. So we're working on rotational power, control, and when I design workouts, so, something like this, I'm taking into consideration, you know, all the myofascial links of the body and how they're all connected and how he's able to create power, how we're able to prevent injury and keep him performing at the highest level possible. That's it. Next movement, we're gonna have Billy out on the turf in a push-up position. He's gonna be taking the sandbag, sliding it other, underneath his body with the opposing hand working on core stability. Something I'm really big on is core stability and the core is designed to stabilize. So a lot of crunching and hip hinging is sometimes good to create core strength, but I'm a really big proponent on having the core being able to stabilize. Nice. In five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, the next movement we're gonna do is a barbell front squat. Pretty generic, pretty standard. Just working on that lower body, that lower half strength, because obviously that's really important in sports. So we're gonna come out here. Billy's just gonna use that ball as just a reference point for his depth. Seven, eight. So we're gonna work on a single leg RDL with a cable pull across. So single leg strength, obviously a really important factor when it comes to sports performance. Uh, this movement really is gonna focus on that glute medius and it's gonna kind of force Billy to really uh, challenge his balance as he pulls the cable across his body. He's gonna get a little upper body workout too with that cross body pull. We're working on that myofascial link that's across the body. So he's gonna start out by putting that cable down low by his hip and then hip hinge forward with a slight knee bend. Come across the body and as he does so, he drives that knee forward. Perfect. So we're gonna work on a little cardiovascular um, strength here. He is gonna be doing intervals, just two sets, 20 seconds on, 20 off, 20 seconds on. What I really wanna do here is actually stress him for the next movement, and I'll explain once we get to it. One, go for it. Same exact thing. And go for it. There it is. Come on. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Right on the turf. So we're going to go five each direction. We're gonna work on something called your vestibular ocular reflex. It's your body's ability to fixate their, your eyes on a target. So when you move your head, the semicircular canals in your ears move. So it's important as an athlete to be able to fixate on something 
especially as your position changing, as you're either following something, and that communication dictates all the rest of the movement that you do, whether you're in sports or outside walking. So vestibular ocular reflex, let's bring his left leg up in the air, right leg is out in front, thumb is up. So he's just gonna slowly move his head in each direction and try to maintain fixation on his finger. And it's a lot harder than it looks.